Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Margaret. So go get your mat. Go get your mat. I'll wait a little. Okay, you got your mat? You're in yoga clothes or clothes you can stretch in? Great. Okay. So today, tonight, will be a new moon. And when it's a new moon, it is time to set a new intention. It's a time to open yourself up to infinite possibilities. It's a time to cultivate and plant a seed or whatever it is that you want to manifest within the next month. And what I like to do is plant a seed for success. So 2016 is coming to an end. This whole year was a year of purification and for learning and really be ready, be ready for what's coming. To remove any old energies, old habits, old beliefs that no longer serve you. But you can never be ready enough. You can never be ready enough. And that's okay. You still have to keep going. You're still going to have to Continue sowing, planting for the future. So in today's meditation, I will give you a short sequence to help you cultivate a sense of strength and success. Success seems like it's something that's, you know, you have to do and go at it really hard to reach like something over here. But really success is already within you. You can feel successful no matter where you are. You can feel strength, you can gather your strength no matter what your circumstances are through meditation, through yoga, and that is what I would like to give you today. So let's begin. <clears throat> so it's going to be a short one so that you can actually try and continue to do this on your own for the upcoming days ahead. So what I would like you to do first is get into child's pose. So in child's pose, your heels are together, knees apart. Sit your hips back down and then come forward like so. I'm just going to turn this way so you can see better. Same thing. Come forward. And here, just rest. Placing your forehead down onto the mat, begin to walk your hands over to the right side. Feel that stretch along the side body. Come back to center. And then walk over to the other side.
Breathe here, feel that stretch along the side. Come back to center. And come into a tabletop position. So shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, ankle behind the knee. Tuck in your toes. Begin to do a couple rounds of cat-cow. So cow, drop your belly down. Look forward, open up your chest. And then exhale, round the back, bring your navel towards your spine. And then come back into cow. Crown up, chest open and forward, and then exhale to cat, press your palms down firmly on the mat, as if you're pushing the mat away from you. Inhale, and exhale. Continue doing it. Begin to slowly make circles with your neck. Move your hips. And the other way. Now reach your right arm forward and extend your left leg. Flex your feet. And hold it here. Bring it back down and the other side. Left arm out, fingertips stretched. Extend your back right leg, feet is flexed. Imagine a strong line of energy from your fingertips all the way through to the back of your heel. Come back down and the other side again. Feel that strength. And down and the other side. Now come into a high plank. So bring your hands a little bit forward. Lift your knees up. You're on the ball of your feet. Again, shoulders over wrist. Fingers are spread well. And feel your strength here. Feel free to begin to move forward and back. Shifting your weight forward and back. And then come into downward facing dog. In downward facing dog, you want to favor the elongation of your spine and not so much straight legs. So your knees can be bent. You want the energy pulling your heels down towards the ground, but it's okay to not be able to reach the ground. 
hands are spread well and you're pushing your weight back into the hips, down the heels. Now lift your right leg up and open it up. Bend your knees. Feel that stretch as you begin to open your hips and make circles with your right leg in the air. Bring your knee towards your nose, hold it here and extend again. Knees towards your nose and extend again. Okay, this time, place it in between your hands, spin the back foot down so that it's at a 45 degree. You want your hip bones to be facing forward. Knee, your front knee is right over your ankle and slowly engaging your core and your front quadriceps. Rise into warrior one. Reach higher. Lean back a little bit. Feel that support from your back leg. Feel the strength in this warrior pose. Bring your arms back down and lift up your right arm so that you're spinning open towards your right side. Make sure your legs are still engaged as if they're scissoring towards each other. Come back down, spin the back foot down so that it's 90 degree this time. Heel is aligned with the arch of the back foot. Hips is now open. Come up and windmill your arms into warrior two. Look over the front of your fingertips. Energetically, your feet is pushing the two sides of the mat away from each other. Knee is right over ankle. And breathe here. On your next breath, place your back arm down behind your thigh. And bring your right arm over the top of your head into reverse warrior and feel that stretch along the side body. Come back into warrior two. Place your right forearm down onto your thigh and take your left arm up over into an extended side angle and feel the stretch along this side body straight line of energy from your tailbone up through the crown of your head, extending out from your fingertips and feel your strength here. Inhale, back up into warrior two, and then exhale again into reverse warrior. Continue this warrior dance. Side angle, warrior two, reverse warrior. Inhale, back up, exhale. Inhale, exhale. All right, now spin your right foot so that the outer edges of your feet are parallel to the outer edges of the mat. 
Hold your hip here and with a flat back, lean forward and fold. Bring your hands down. And if it feels good to you, you can reach for the ankles or your outer shins. Now turn, pivot yourself so that your left foot is now facing forward. And come back into downward facing dog. Take an inhale here through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Walk out your feet a little bit. All right, now take your left leg up into the air. Bend your knee and open up your hip. Make circular movements here and feel that stretch and the hip opening. Come back to center, square your hips. Now bring your knees, your knee towards your nose and extend again, back up. Bring your knee towards your nose, extend again. One last time, knee towards your nose, extend and now this time place your left foot in between your palm your hands here place your left, your right foot flat down pointing at a 45 degree angle your feet are on two are um, on train tracks so they're not directly aligned on the straight line but slightly apart front knee is right over the ankle. Your hip should try to face as much forward as you can. Now with strong quads and engaged core, rise up into warrior one. back down. Spin the back foot forward and lift your left arm up and turn your body towards the left. your left hand back down, spin the back foot so that now it is at a 90 degree and the heel of the front foot is aligned to the arch of the back foot. With your knee bent, rise up, windmill your arm out into warrior two. Look over your fingertips, strong energy in both hands. You want your feet to be pressing the mat away from each other. Really strong warrior here. Like you're ready, ready to come back into reverse warrior. Come back into warrior two 
And this time, place your forearm over your thigh and come into extended side angle. Inhale back to warrior two. Prepare. And then exhale to reverse warrior. Inhale back up. And exhale. Continue like so. back to warrior two, channel all of that strength from your belly up, extend it out through your fingertips, keep your legs strong, they're here to support you, okay now straighten out the front, spin it forward with a flat back, Fold forward into prasarita. This time, take your hands, clasp them together, keep the wrists together. Try to pull it forward as much as you can, still gently. And feel the humbleness of this pose the strength required to be humble. Release your hands with a flat back, come back up. Walk your feet to the center. Plant your toes firmly on the mat, tailbone down. Shoulders up, back and down. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead. And exhale, down to heart center. Okay. All right, that is a short sequence that I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I wish you all strength, courage to manifest your desires for the upcoming month. Have a good rest of the day. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Please subscribe. I'm going to do more of these. I really love yoga and I would love to share my practice with you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.